Oh, what's up guys royal jordanian here and welcome to another uh, video today we have a base design now this is the lounge area this is the common area this is the place where you hang out the most and on the left here we have a loot room and on the right we have the same another loot room Now on the second floor we also have some space and this is preferably you can place uh, workbenches and things of that nature on the second floor research table beds a couple of boxes etc now i'm going to show you the main bases or the main rooms And as you can see, we have built our main room under the foundations or actually inside of the foundations. And here we are using a technique that you can open a barbecue and you can place on top a jack-o-lantern. Now these are in-game skins that you can buy. So you have to buy them. They're like 30 cents on the market and you can craft these in-game. And with this, you can actually transfer stuff underneath the floor and you can save it in your box now this is meant to confuse the raiders a little bit it's not foolproof people can still find out if there is a room underneath here but it doesn't matter because i have made it armored and you can even make a cheat and we all know they cost a fortune to raid through. And the good part is I got four of these rooms. Just like I'm showing you right here. And here you can see the whole, f the whole print, the footprint. Now the footprint itself is pretty old. Everybody knows about this, nothing special. But with the technique of the barbecue and the pumpkin, we can actually make four separate semi-secret rooms and with the upgrade the buff the metal walls and the armored walls even they're pretty op now here i'm showing you a very low foundation this is as low as you can what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it like this now i'm showing you showing you an example on how you should place this like that height so there you can see the difference. Now, when you place your foundation on a reasonably flat area, like on a road, they're pretty flat. So I'm gonna check if I can place a back. Yes, I can. See, you can place backs if the foundation is a little bit higher. You're out of the reach of the limit. So that's a little bypass. Now we're gonna make a star base, your, your standard star base. I'm going to start with half walls and then normal walls around it. Now, this is going to be our starter base. This is how we start. Now, after we upgraded everything, don't upgrade the foundation there yet. Now, we're going to make another layer here for our airlock. To make it com more comfortable, we're going to place a little ladder there or a staircase. Now, now we get inside and we're going to upgrade the foundation to wooden. Don't upgrade it to stone because this is our starter base. Now you can place all the stuff that you need. So for the time being, this is where we work from. Now we're going to start the expansion. We're going to start expanding the foundations or the footprint. Now the middle here is the core. I made it a sheet metal just so that you can see it better. And that's the core. And what you just do is just make a honeycomb around it like this. 
it kind of looks like a sun like the sun and we're gonna upgrade only the triangles don't upgrade don't touch the square ones leave them in twig so now we're gonna make half walls all around the base and then normal walls make your door and upgrade everything Now, inside, we're going to make all half walls. They have to be all half walls filled inside. So you got to fill everything up. Now, on the square side, it's better if you have, if you have the metal for it. You should make them uh, sheet metal. <clears throat> but there's no rush. You can always do that later on. I'm going to destroy these squares because I'm going to place them higher just for comfort reasons. Just so you can move around a little bit better. So now we're going to close up all the triangles, everything. And we're going to make um, metal and they're really cheap. The floors, they're like 35 metal frags per triangle. So that's very cheap. And again, leave the squares. Don't touch them. Don't upgrade them. Now we're going to make our little couple of doorways here, just to make it safe. Now you can close up the top, but for camera reasons, uh, I'm not going to completely close it up because I'll be losing light and you guys will see it worse. So uh, you should make the square one there, the wooden one, that, should, that one should be, should be wood. Also make a furnace. Don't forget to make a furnace because you're going to need metal. Metal walls are OP. There are eight rockets. So you have to make a furnace, a large furnace. Now we're going to make a room here. That's going to be one of our uh, yeah, loot rooms. And I'm placing here some uh, frames, some door frames. I'm going to place some garage doors and double doors there later on. All right, I decided to close it up anyway. So your base should be closed up. And the part here, that one should be wood because we're going to open that up. You know, we're going to open that later. And now we're going to pick everything up in this room, in the starter base, because we're going to uh, hatch it, soft side hatch it this uh yeah this this floor here and it's wooden so it will just cost you literally a couple of minutes to destroy it because we're gonna place the tc in our core this is the core that those two triangles that's the core and we're gonna put it there behind the door so we can reach it more easily now for this this is the starter room again we're back in here now i'm gonna place a bed and a box and I'm going to place this barbecue right in front of the door. Now I do that for a reason. And then we close it up. Don't upgrade it. Leave it twig. You have to suicide now. Get underneath. Spawn in that bag. And then look in your box. Get your jack-o'-lantern and some wood. Because we're going to turn on the barbecue. And then on top we're going to place our jack-o'-lantern. The Halloween lantern and that way we can test it out see if it doesn't work you can still get out that's why i left the top there on, uh, in twig so we're going to get out you're going to kill yourself again to spawn on the top side and it works you can transfer so upgrade it now it has to be either sheet metal or even armored if you have the, the high quality now you got to do this in all the four rooms not just that one you got to do it in all the four rooms and the cool part is they're separated from each other so it makes it so much stronger man your loot is semi-hidden and it's also uh you know it's it's a little bit far from each other so that's always good now i'm gonna make them armored uh just because it's too op it's crazily op i think it's like i'm not sure but it's like 
6 to 8 C4, which is crazy. Now on the outside, we're going to start our expansion. Remember those triangles? We're going to close them up. And you should make them in, sh yeah, in metal frags, in sheet metal. Do it on the other side as well. Now here, this is interesting, this is very important. We're going to make real foundations around those half walls. Now this is just a layer that we're doing, just so that we can hide it. We don't want people to see that we're using half walls yet. Eventually they'll find out. But from the outside, when people inspect your base, you know, in, in the first impression, they will think, oh, it's just a foundation. You know, it's just foundations. So I built real high foundations all around those half walls. And then, of course, we're going to honey finish the honeycomb as well for those uh, triangle parts. They're still half walls and their stability is still shown to be under 100%. So we're going to hide them as well. And this is our honeycomb, so... And we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side here. And like I said, metal is the most OP. Uh, metal and armored is the most OP now. So Now on the top, we're going to start with a wall. We're going to close it up. Wall it all up. As for, the, for that wooden entrance there, you can even wall that up earlier. Just with a square on top and a door. Alright, so we're going to close up these honeycombs. See the bottom there? That, I'm, that, that has to be honeycombed. And the top here. It's the same exact. Now, after you have done that, it doesn't matter what you do. You can make your rooms however you want. And it doesn't have to be an identical like this one. Now, I'm just going to make a couple of rooms here. Now, like I said, you don't have to make it exactly like this. You can just put your own twist on it. Uh, not everything has to be sheet as well. You can make it stone. But uh, yeah, I'm just showing you the finished product a little bit. Of course, you start with stone. Now, on the front here, we're, we're just going to make an entrance area here. We're going to spam doors. Now, the front here doesn't need to be metal. You can just make it in stone because we're expanding the base now. This is an expansion. As you can see, this is just an expansion. And you can just leave it all in stone. It's no problem. And it's better. We're going to place these, uh, these shop windows. They're pretty strong too. They're like six uh, rockets to go through. And we're going to spam doors here now. Place a drop-off box. Maybe even a, a little shotgun trap. Why not? For the people that try to go deep on you. Upgrade. And that's it, man. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, man. The base is as good as finished. Now, the, in the inside of the base is empty. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a couple of carpets above the secret hidden rooms because I want to disguise as much because it still shows 87%, the floor does. So we're going to disguise it. We're going to place carpets, some boxes on top, and hopefully people will not see it. And you, you'll be surprised how many people will miss this. So when you're really paranoid and you got a lot of, you know, high quality you can just armor up the whole bottom here and uh, it's really really op guys it's really really strong it takes a lot of rockets now and as you can see here i'm showing you you can expand this base until kingdom come you know it's you can just expand it as much as you wish so for you clan bases this is pretty good 
And then we close up the top as well. If you're finished, you don't want to expand. You can just make roofs like this. See? Close it up. Upgrade it. And bada bing bada boom. You're done. And there you go. The base is finished. It's very strong. You have semi-hidden uh, loot rooms. And uh, yeah. Don't forget about your pumpkin farm. You have to farm them. And there you go, guys. That's the base design. It's pretty strong. It's semi-hidden loot rooms. And even if they found out the hidden loot rooms, they still have to blow in it. Metal is 8 rockets and armored is, I think, 14 or 16 rockets. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe less. I'll speak to you guys later on.